A group of researchers has given mice the ability to see in the dark. Let's see how they did it. Mammals, including mice and humans, can only perceive light waves between 400 and 700 nanometers in length. The researchers' goal? Give mice the ability to see wavelengths outside this spectrum. They started with so-called up-conversion nanoparticles. When excited with near-infrared light, these particles emit green visible light. Why not try attaching these nanoparticles directly to the photoreceptor cells in the mouse's retina? To get things to stick to each other, you generally need glue. In this case, the glue was a protein called concanavalin A, known to bind to photoreceptor cells. The inventors added this protein glue to the night vision particles to make them sticky then injected them into the retinas of a whole bunch of mice. And they stuck. The only remaining question was, did they work? And to what extent? On the left, we have our control group of normal mice. And on the right, we have our group of mice injected with the photoreceptor binding up conversion nanoparticles. First, near infrared light was shined into the eyes of both groups. The control mice's pupils showed no response, but the injected mice's pupils involuntarily constricted. Next, both groups of mice were placed in dark boxes, where they were conditioned to associate visible green light with their feet being shocked, which led them to freeze in place. After the training was complete, both groups would freeze in the presence of green light, even without the shock. But when the room was illuminated with infrared light, only the injected mice froze. They were clearly reacting to something that normal mice could not see. Next, the mice were placed in a water maze and trained to associate triangles of green visible light with platforms they could stand on. When the triangle and circle were illuminated by infrared light, the normal mice chose their path at random, but the injected mice reliably chose the path with the triangle at the end. Their infrared vision capabilities clearly allowed them to distinguish between shapes. Another version of the task set the green shapes against an infrared background, and the infrared shapes against a green background. These tricks didn't confuse the injected mice though, indicating that they could discriminate between the green light present in the environment and the green light emitted by the particles in their retinas in the presence of infrared radiation. In summary, these nanoparticles not only give mice the ability to see near infrared light, they do so without requiring external power or compromising the mice's existing vision capabilities. The success of this technology should enable further research into animal vision and the eventual development of a human version. One day we will no longer need bulky external cameras to see in the dark. Instead, the technology will be seamlessly integrated into our very eyes.